how are you? Thank you for watching. My name is Aris Eminma. The interview question in the spotlight today is why should we hire you? Another way that question might be asked is why are you the right candidate for this role or why are you the best fit for this organization? However it's asked, it might make you feel intimidated and want, make you want to shrink away, but don't stand up straight. Grab that mic, metaphorically speaking, take center stage and sell yourself because it's a really good chance to get you across to the interviewer. Now, if you've heard the word sell and you're thinking, I can't sell anything, you can. You sold your interviewer on you through your CV. You don't have to be super confident. You just have to be super prepared. And that's what this video is all about. So when you're thinking about your answer, think about these three things. One, you can hit the ground running. You want your answer to demonstrate that you've got the right skills, experiences, you can deliver great results and you've got the right attitude. Two, that you will fit in well with the team and the culture of the organisation. And three, that you understand what the company does and you want to build an, a, a career within that sector. So say, for example, you've just left school or, or university and you're about to interview for the role of an office runner in a TV production company. Your answer might go something along the lines of during my time at, at college, I secured 12 months experience in TV. This included interning at ABC Productions, where I got an excellent grounding in TV production. They liked me so much so they brought me back a second summer and gave me additional responsibilities, which I loved. I also produced three short film projects, which are available to view on YouTube. And I ran on a number of independent films that was just about me keeping my experience up to date. Whilst I was at college, I worked in a busy high street retail store part time where I developed excellent customer service, time management, organisational skills, which I believe will transfer really well into the role of an office runner. I have developed through working in TV and kind of in, in retail, like a really flexible attitude to work. So I'm more than happy to roll up my sleeve and do what I can in order to get the job done. I'm really a big fan of ABC Productions, um, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah are two of my favourite shows. I'm really excited about joining the organisation, bringing my skills to bear in the role of office, office runner and also learning from some of the best in the industry. Now, as you will have seen from the answer, as you will have heard rather from the answer, they demonstrated that they had the right skills and experiences for the role. They also showed that they had the right attitude, could fit in well with the team, understood the culture of the organisation and also wanted to build a career in that sector. So how do you craft an answer like this? Well, you follow these three steps. You research, write it down and then you practice. So on the research side, what I mean is get the job description to one side, get your CV to the other side, look at what skills, experiences the employer is looking for, then look at what areas, specific areas or skills rather that you shine in because those are what you want to magnify in your answer. Then you want to look at what your accomplishments are and they can be personal or they can be professional. It's all about showing how that experience transfers into the this current role. So think about how we talked about I worked in retail and I developed ABC skills. That's what you're trying to do when you're highlighting your accomplishments. So don't worry if they're not necessarily specific to that industry or, or role. And then when I say write it down, I'm not talking about writing an essay. Remember the three points that we talked about earlier? You can hit the ground running, you fit in well with as a team and the culture, you understand what the business does and you've got the a desire to build a career in that sector. That's how you're, you're structuring your answer around those three key points. And then the fourth is practice. Now practice is not about memorizing. It's really just about getting in those key points, getting in what you wanna say in such a way that you feel comfortable and you feel confident when you're when you're speaking the answer but do just practice stand in front of a mirror so that you feel you know yeah 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 i've got this i've got it now, ultimately you want to create that must hire feeling which is not too dissimilar from the must see feeling that a film trailer gives you you know when you watch something it's short it's snappy it gets you hooked and and and, and wanting to go and view that film that's how you want your interviewer to feel that they must hire you 
Now, say you've done all this preparation and you get into the interview and you're not asked the question, you can still get your answer in there. Because usually at the end of any interview, you're asked, do you have any further questions or is there anything else you want to say? And that's your point, your cue rather, to say, well, I just wanted to say I'm really excited about the prospect of joining the organisation because blah. And then you sell your answer. You say your answer, rather. Now, I hope you found this useful. If you want to find out a little bit more about Diva and our current vacancies, click on the link below. Feel free to share, share, share this video. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.